this video I want to show you how to play the harmony for Åre Polskan. This, this triplet polska that I included a few weeks ago. It's a traditional Swedish dance tune. It's very common in the circuits of fiddle players. And I'm actually here playing with my good friend Lena Jonsson, who is an amazing fiddler from the middle of part of Sweden. And um, yeah, this is a three-part arrangement. There's the melody, the chords, and the harmony. And the harmony, it's kind of a parallel melody line, sort of, like below the original melody. And you will see what it's like once we get into it. So here it comes, uh, the harmony for Åre Polska. My name is Magnus Sedlund and I help mandolin players just like you get to the next level. If you're new here at the channel, make sure you subscribe. We have new videos like this coming out every week. Also hit that bell notification button and you will get notified as soon as we publish a new video. And for an enhanced learning experience, go to Mandolin Secrets Academy. You can find the sheet music, the tabs, the play along tracks for this tune and all the other videos here at the YouTube channel. You can even connect personally with me and the other members in this amazing community. Check it out, it's mandolinsecrets.com forward slash academy. Okay, let's start by listening to me and Lena playing the entire arrangement and you will realize that the harmony part is entering, well, in the middle of the arrangement sort of, but uh, Again, it's always good to know the melody if you're gonna play a harmony. It's kind of an essential thing actually. So listen to this and then we will break it down playing both at slow and at the faster tempo. Here we go. Okay, there you got it. And if you think like me, I think this harmony really adds to this arrangement when it comes in. And that is, I would say, the traditional way of backing up a fiddle tune, playing a harmony. It's not that common with putting chords to it uh, in a traditional way, but uh, adding a melody line like this, that's the way to do it, really. And uh, uh, I think you by now should also have learned the the melody part, but if you haven't done it yet, it's still okay to to go for this one But it will be easier for you to pick this one if you already know the melody. That's for sure 
but let's play it, the, the harmony at a slow tempo and then I can explain a little bit how I was thinking while creating this harmony. Here we go. And you might be thinking, how can we actually come up with a harmony like this uh, when we have the melody? And this lesson is not teaching you the entire process, but I know one thing, that it's a very good way to get into harmony playing by learning some written, uh, composed or arranged, uh, pre-made harmonies, sort of. And But you can see there's a few concepts that I just want to share. Looking at the first mes measures here from the melody. So I'm kind of following that line with the melody, just starting on another chord tone. So it's the same like uh, ascending line, but just starting from another place in the scale, sort of. So you gotta know a little bit of... Uh, uh, um, well, uh, I would say it really helps knowing a bit of music theory if you're going into things like this. So that we know what the chord notes are and uh, maybe how the scale looks and things like that. But you can, if you're following along in the tabs, you can see that pretty much I'm, f I'm following the melody um, using intervals that's pleasing to the ear thirds, sixths, some fourths, some fifths, maybe even. But um, yeah, that's how it... Yeah. Th th that's the basic concept of a harmony like this. And um, let's have a listen to it when I play it more up to speed uh, and you can play along with me. Here we go. One, two, three, two, two, three. <laughs>
All right, my friend, there you got it. And I, I really encourage you to, once you get the harmony into your playing, try to playing along with a melody as well, because that's when they're, the, 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 they, they will, you will hear how they really match together and they, how it's meant to be, sort of. It's not sounding um, like musical by its own, well, somehow, but yeah, you see what I mean. It's made to be played as a harmony accompanying melody for the original fiddle tune melody. As always, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up and I would also be very glad if you would like to leave a comment letting me know how you find playing harmony for a Swedish fiddle tune like this. Is harmonies something you're used to doing? Is it that um, something you haven't paid too much attention to? Please let me know in the comment section, I would be very interested to hear. And as always, thank you so much for watching, see you in a new video soon. Thank you.